Hi, Suham. Hi. Great to have you with us on Z Connect today. Thank you for having me. Superb. So tell us about yourself. Well, I'm a mom of three kids and my youngest one, he has autism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So Rohan has been with the Biotism Center for two and a half years now. Yes. And when was it that you realized that he's got autism and when did you decide that you wanted to approach the Biotism Center? Well, it's, it's been a long journey. I haven't decided uh, for the first time for the Biotism Center before. He was into one-to-one -one sessions like therapies because he doesn't speak. So he went to a lot of speech therapies, a lot of ABA therapies. But then there was a point when I have seen that he needs a social interaction. Mm -hmm. He was not uh, friendly with other kids. He hide behind me when he sees some kids running towards him. That time I was trying to find a place for him where he could feel home and also can find friends. And I think the Biotism Center, when I entered that center, the first thing, it's just like, it's, you know that the vibes, that yeah. you feel like that's the place. Yeah. Yeah, so I decided just like, no, that's a place for me, yeah. for my son, yeah. But taking you back in the journey um, of autism with Rohan, uh, what were the early behavioral signs that you noticed in him and what age was that at? Well, uh, I think two, two and a half when he started nursery. Before that, he was talking and he was interacting really well. Okay. But when you uh, put him to the nursery, the principal called me one day and she said, he's not talking. Hmm. Though he was talking at home, but he just started muting himself hmm. in outside world. Hmm. And she said, I think you need to see someone for him. Okay. And we did. It slowly and gradually, but because autism, it's a very alien word for me. Because I didn't know what she said. She said, I might think she, he has autism. I was like, what? I didn't get that word. And my husband got it and he started searching for that what is that thing he didn't tell me for a while because he was himself was in shock yeah and after a while he told me we started therapies it's quite a learning process for us so that to, was right from when Rohan was probably two or two yeah and two and a half and okay. suddenly he muted yeah exactly it's like someone just put a mute button on him and he stopped talking yeah struggled a lot went to a lot of places um, but yeah so you're saying that you as a parent also needed training exactly. in order to help your child. Exactly. So what were these trainings like? I have done RBT, Registered Behavior Technician. Uh, with Sorry, what is, what is RBT? Registered Behavior Technician. Okay. Yeah, I have done that. I have done ABA courses. I've done a lot of learning. That helped him. Yeah. Uh, because you, if you are helping someone, you need to know what are you doing with that person, sure. right? So I need a lot of learning. I have... A lot of learning. I'm still learning a lot of stuff, but yes, that helped me a lot. So, after being part of the Biotism Center, one thing, as you mentioned, is the learning and the trainings that you have gone through. Um, in terms of Ruhan's behavior and the changes that you have seen in him, how do you think he has progressed? Could you share maybe certain uh, incidents or certain, you know, maybe a few stories of how, what kind of changes you've seen in him? I, th I see a lot of changes in him actually uh, um, because if you, uh, my son before coming here, he was not cognitively very uh, there in, according to his age. Yeah. But now if I see him before, I used to ask him, can you please give me the water bottle? If I'm driving a car, I'm asking, can you please give me the water bottle? And he was like, what are you saying to me? I don't understand what you're saying to me. What do yeah. you want? Yeah. But now I can see that if I give him instructions, he's taking my instructions, he's following, he's following everything. He understands that, okay, if Mama is asking me to wear shoes, I need to go out. I'm yeah. going out. Yeah. So these small, small changes, like I remember uh, I was I was opening, I was trying to, I was. I think I was trying to open the door yeah. and he came before me and he said, look, let me do it. And he was trying to open it and he wouldn't open it. And then he rang the bell. I was like, what? You know that if you cannot open the door, you can you ring, ring the, bell, the bell, someone will open the door. So these small, small changes, yeah. I'm like, wow, he is learning. Yeah. You, you see in small, small stuff that, yeah, he's learning. A lot like, 
he's learning here how to load and unload the washing machine. And I, mm. one day I was just asking, can you please put this in the washing machine? And he knows it. Mm-hmm. So today I have a demo session for him and I understand that he learned it here. Yeah. So now he's doing it at home as well. Yeah. So yeah. yeah I'm sure it's a great feeling. That yes, it is. It's, things it's, it's that like you a... always wanted him to learn and do. He's yeah. doing it by himself. Now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Great. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Suha. It was wonderful talking to you and we wish you all the very best with Ruhan and your family, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you.